What is up you guys? Um, today is our actually our last day in London and we have a lot of things scheduled to do and I decided to pick up the camera and just show you guys around because I feel like my first vlog I was new here I didn't know what I was looking at and I didn't get to show you much I just showed you around like the one street that I walked on so I decided to do that today and I actually ended up losing some weight here instead of gaining weight which is nice so I decided to share some tips throughout the day as we go to make it a little more fun and educational at the same time so as it happens we're walking um, to see the Buckingham Palace there's a ceremony which is changing of the guards it's supposed to be a big deal it's supposed to be a thing so we're gonna go check it out and the tip will be try to walk around as much as you can and avoid taking the public transportation, avoid taking uh, taxis or Ubers or whatever. Try to get in as much walking as you can and that will help you burn off a lot of calories which will help you eat a little bit more and stay on track. So tip number one will be walk around, be active and definitely don't be lazy. So that's pretty much changing of the guards, just guards switching shifts. But I think the big deal is uh, that's the king's palace, so that's where the king lives. And yeah, definitely a touristic attraction. And if you guys know anything about traveling, you want to avoid touristic attraction. But I get to see, I get to say that I saw the changing of the guards, which I didn't see. I have to see it on camera because I literally lifted you guys up to give you guys a shot, and I missed it all. And it's not much of a shot, is it? But anyways. On to better things. Hello. 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 Bye bye. So I just realized why my shots before when I was trying to get like cool cinematic looking shots didn't look smooth and it's because I was recording at 24 frames per second and that's perfect for when you're vlogging because when you record at 60 frames per second it crops into the picture and I want to give you like a nice background so I don't want my picture to be cropped but I guess when I'm taking videos of things like for to, to like showcase things and stuff like foods and stuff you want the uh, picture to be as smooth as possible and the video to be smooth as possible and not bumpy so it's okay if it crops so that's like I learned that today it's my last day here but at least like better late than never you know like at least now I can uh, shoot some cool videos like going forward as well so at least I learned something I'm not very good with like photography and just technology in general but I'm trying to learn so I can bring you guys more exciting and like better content, you know? All right, so made a quick coffee stop because I was feeling like I was running out of energy. Now, the next tip will be try skipping one of the meals. So for me, I'm never really hungry in the morning, so I skip out on breakfast. And the reason I do that is so I can enjoy more calories for my later meals, the best, like the better tasting meals of the day. So like I can have a better lunch or a better dinner. So that way I can stay on track while still enjoying the foods that I like. So skipping out on one of the meals means you have less energy and you get a pick-me-up, a cup of coffee with a splash of almond milk. Actually, the almond milk they use here has more calories than milk. Another thing that I like to do 
is if I'm on the move and I want to eat something, then I'd like to bring my own food. I went to the supermarket and I bought a couple of meals. What you saw there is a roasted chicken and salad sandwich. Basically for the whole thing, it's 360 calories and 30 grams of protein, which is very low in calories and high in protein. And I do that because I want to save my calories. So I can eat two of these sandwiches throughout the day instead of just having one from a regular coffee shop that would have double the amount of calories so that would keep me fuller for longer so I can actually save my calories for something that is worthwhile and don't get me wrong guys like if you want to go on vacation and you want to enjoy your time like absolutely go for it if you don't want to worry about dieting and you don't care about losing or gaining weight whatever but if your goal is to like maintain what you've worked on then absolutely this is the way to go save your calories for something that is actually worthwhile now we're gonna cross the street it's so backwards here i'm sorry i don't want to say that out loud because i don't want to offend people but i'm so not used to like the streets and like how you cross the street like literally they have signs for tourists to like look right and then look left because i was gonna get run over so many times because i look left and i'm like oh the street is good i look right and i'm about to get run over So this is the chocolate hall. Everything here looks absolutely delicious. And basically everything here we can't eat. Like I think this chocolate is like 2,000, 3,000 calories and I can literally eat it in one sitting. Wait, let me show you this. By the way, for those of you who don't know, chocolate is literally my favorite thing ever. I haven't had chocolate actually in so long and the chocolate here looks so good. I can't have chocolate, that's one thing, like I can't have chocolate in moderation because as soon as I have one piece, it's game over. I'm eating chocolate till I literally, like my face is like filled with chocolate like all the way down to here and I'm drowning in it and then I'm like, what just happened? And it's like, I would go into a coma if I had chocolate, honest to God. Can't have it in moderation, yeah, me and myself. I envy those who can have a piece of chocolate and they're like, yeah, I'm good. Can't relate. So we're at Herod's, um, apparently it used to be owned by an Egyptian person, hence all this like uh, ancient Egypt uh, decor and then a Qatari person bought it and I don't know what he did with it but it's super super nice and it's definitely nice to see that our cult culture is being represented. So you know, Arab stuff, Arab money, wish I had some of it too. <laughs> So we came to Starbucks for a quick coffee stop, which brings us to another tip. You do not want to be drinking your calories. You want to save your calories for food intake. And coffee is a great thing for suppressing appetite. So when I start feeling hungry, what I usually like to do is have a cup of coffee. That really like curbs my appetite and it helps me go through the day. Hence, we're at Starbucks grabbing ourselves a coffee before heading to the Natural Science Museum. Very busy day filled with sightseeing and tips. So I hope you guys are enjoying the vlog, but we're still not even halfway through the day. So stay tuned, we're coming with some better content.
which is why it irritates me. All right, you guys, that's gonna be a wrap for the science museum. Hope you guys enjoyed some of the footage we took. Hope I did a half decent job taking this footage. Now we're gonna go to Shake Shack. Your boy is starving. All I had was multiple coffees and the two sandwiches I showed you. And right after Shake Shack, like maybe two hours later, we're going to a fine dining restaurant, which is exactly why we're hitting Shake Shack first. Because fine dining restaurants, like the portions are like this small. So it's not gonna be satisfying. We wanna have something that is filling. So when we go to the fine dining, we can eat the really good food, but not be too hungry afterwards. And then I think I might be hitting a push workout, depends because I still have to pack and stuff, but I'm gonna try to put a workout in. I said put a workout in, I meant get a workout in. For some reason, they closed the tube, which is the metro, they call it the tube here. And I think it's because of rush hour. There are too many people in there. And we need to go to, we need to get to Shake Shack so we can make our fine dining dinner reservation. So we're gonna take a black cab, which if you guys don't know in London, it's about the most expensive thing you can do. But it's gonna be an experience, so let's take you guys with us. Hello. Hello. It's actually quite comfortable. So you can pay here, and there are like fold out seats, fits six people. And luggage. I, and luggage, so I guess it's still not worth the price. It was a smooth drive in rush hour London. We're like a five minute walk from the restaurant, and I'm excited, I'm hungry, man. I'm ready to smash some Shake Shack burgers. Let's go! Mm. It's so good. Which brings us to our next tip. See, I had two single cheeseburgers instead of a double. A double is 800 calories, a single is 500. So for two singles, I can literally have one double. And I skipped out on the fries. So you don't need to be eating fries. Just like go for one thing and make sure it's like calorie friendly. This is not calorie friendly, obviously, but something I wanted to try. Didn't have fries, didn't have a drink with it. If I did like, a double with fries and a drink that would put me at a thousand five hundred calories instead i get to eat two burgers anyways i'm too hungry to be filming this so i'm gonna go eat and we'll see you guys after that was a good appetizer for fine dining somehow i'm still hungry i'm hungrier than when i first ate but now at least like there's some cushioning inside i hope they let us film inside the restaurant because i'm gonna dress up i'm gonna be fancy to go to a fancy restaurant made it to the room real quick took a shower, got dressed, literally made it one minute late to the reservation, which was perfect. Also, I uh, got these necklaces from Crafted. Actually, it uh, ended up arriving at a pretty convenient time because I'm leaving tomorrow and it was getting a bit stressful because it seemed like they were not gonna arrive, but they arrived. We also got this uh, little bling bling bracelet. Anyways, we ordered our food. I got a steak with sake and I got Wagyu sashimi. So I'm excited to eat that and I'm excited to show you guys what it is and what it's gonna be. I put my finger there to, in case you guys thought that it was big. This is ass. It's amazing. <laughs> that is a wrap. Still not sure if I want to work out or not. I'm gonna go to the room, reassess and evaluate, and we'll let you know if we end up working out or not. We've had a long day. I've been out since 9 and it's still 9 p.m. So a bit tired. We did around 20,000 steps and 
the body is definitely beat up and considering that we are traveling tomorrow I'm gonna have to see it is currently 10 30 and we are going to the gym that is p.m. not a.m. so we had dinner we had a long day I actually did 15,000 steps I'm exhausted but we don't miss a workout or we don't skip a workout so we're headed to the gym and we have a push workout thank god not legs my legs are trashed they're destroyed after a week of averaging around 20,000 steps a day my legs are just not having it anymore also my legs are so trashed that even wearing socks hurt so i'm going in this like hotel slippers but who cares there's no one at the gym i'm just gonna be barefoot i'm rocking the gymshark stinger and some gymshark shorts Life is good. I'm actually gonna miss this gym. Like, I love this gym. The lighting is really good. The lighting is great. There's everything that you need in the hotel gym. I can take my shirt off. There's no one here. I'm very comfortable. Like, I'm literally barefoot. I'm gonna miss this gym. I'm actually glad that I came down. I actually think that I might have lost my phone. I don't know if I took it with me. I remember taking it with me. Oh, no. Maybe I left it in the elevator. I'm literally so brain dead that I placed it there and I forgot that I placed it there. And um, I went back to the room and now I got my parents calling me. I think now you guys can see how brain dead I actually am. So let's just get this workout started so we can finish it as soon as possible. All right, you guys, welcome to the commentary. Right now we're starting our push workout in the hotel room. And as I'm doing this, voiceover commentary i am currently in montreal i had a great flight back actually ended up having empty seats next to me so i was able to lay down the entire six hours i slept for the first few hours and then i just watched tv shows i was watching you but enough with that you guys want to hear about training so what I'm going to say is if you're traveling for a week or even two weeks, you should just know that if you don't work out at all, you're not going to be losing muscle if you don't train for two weeks. So that's something you shouldn't stress about. Although you might look a little bit deflated and that's completely normal because if you're not training your muscle, you're going to deplete your glycogen stores real quick. Glycogen is carbohydrates being stored in the muscle. Glycogen usually tends to hold some water, which gives the muscle the pop. So if you go on vacation and you decide not to work out and you see yourself getting a little deflated by the end, don't stress about it. You didn't lose muscle mass. It's just that the glycogen stores got emptied. And as soon as you get back into training within, within a week's time, you'll just get it back. So no stress there. But if you do decide to work out and you're limited in time, then you can do something called minimum effective volume, which basically means the least amount of stimulus that you can provide the muscle to keep it from lose to keep yourself from like losing it or losing the glycogen from it and it helps you stay in shape. So when you get back to your training, you don't feel rusty, you still feel good. Um a good way to gauge minimum effective volume is just cut your volume in half. So if you go to the gym six days a week, you can just go three days a week. And instead of doing three sets, you can just do one set or two sets. Just keep the intensity high. That way you can literally finish your entire workout within 30 minutes. You'll feel better. You'll feel good. I like to exercise when I'm traveling just because it helps me with my nutrition. Overall, exercise really keeps me on track with nutrition for some reason. I don't know why. It's been that way for me ever since I was young. I know that there's probably a scientific reason behind it, but to be completely honest, I don't know what it is, but I'll look it up and I'll let you guys know. So if you want to just go on vacation and give your body a break, don't worry about it. Go there, have fun. You're not going to lose muscle even if you appear that you have and if you want to just stay in shape it all comes down to the food which was super easy to do in london because honestly most restaurants had the caloric intake of the food and if you couldn't find a restaurant you can just google it and in the uk they have a lot of like nutrition guides that can guide you on how many calories the food how many calories each meal contains so that was very easy very convenient i did stick to my calories for a long duration throughout the week long duration for most of the week let's say and i actually managed to get in all my workouts without having to do minimum effective volume but hey i just like to work out you know so i love doing what i do i love training i love working out so i just 
did my thing. For me, training is easy. The hard part is a little. The hard part is the nutrition. I'm sorry, I messed up. I'm not repeating the clip. This is the second time I'm repeating it, and I'm wrapping up the video. I'm wrapping up the edit. So, yeah. Anyways, where was I? So yeah, I actually ended up losing some weight. I lost three pounds, even though the last three days I wasn't like very meticulous with my diet, but I applied the tips that I was telling you guys earlier about, which is just skipping out on a couple of meals. And then at night I was eating foods that I really enjoyed, didn't worry too much about the calories. And I came back having lost three pounds, despite the fact I had a 4,000 cheat meal in the airport. I basically had access to the first class lounge, which had an open buffet. The food there was amazing. I just stuffed my face, came back, but I guess I was really active there and I was walking a lot like we mentioned. So I did lose weight, which was sweet. We came back from vacation, having fully reset, having enjoyed my time, took a mental break, and I somehow managed to get in better shape. So if you want to travel, these are some tips that can really help you just move around more. If you want to work out, just cut your workout volume in half, train hard for a couple of sets, and you'll be fine. And eat till you're satisfied and not till you're stuffed. That's definitely a tip I can give you. Don't eat, feel, don't like overdo it. Just eat till you feel good experience the foods there have fun there don't eat too much because it also make you sluggish and not want to do anything after it's gonna make you feel horrible so don't do that back to the rest of the video guys love you hey you guys so it's midnight just finished my workout and we actually ended up doing 20,000 steps because i walked around during my workout we have had such a long day productive day good day I really enjoyed filming today's vlog, so I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. And I hope you enjoyed the voiceover commentary that we just did over the workout. My camera is actually about to die in a minute now, so that's perfect timing to end today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. The next video you'll see, we will be back in Montreal. And this trip has given me a chance to reflect, and it has made me a lot more creative. So. Stay tuned, you guys. I will be making you some great content. I will be filming much better content, stepping outside the box, getting outside of my comfort zone. So if you guys would, would like to support me, it would mean a lot to me if you guys subscribed. It will help me a lot on my content creation journey and your support means the world to me. I'm gonna end the video here. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you're about to go to bed, have a good night. And if it's still early in the day, Hope you have a wonderful day. See you next time.